Okay, today we're gonna to run through a simple use case inside of Synflow to create a new car sales assistant working for a car dealership as part of a three person team. We're only gonna cover one person at the moment, but we're gonna dive into the prompt, the knowledge base, a call transfer action, and an info extractor to capture some key info from the conversation. And I'm just gonna run you through how I set it up. So without further ado, let's let's do it. Our assistant is here called Sam. He works for a fictitious car company called Autodrive. And we're gonna open it up. This is your dashboard that you're gonna see, your calls, your actions, your analysis, if you use Synflow before you're gonna see this. And we're gonna go to the configure tab. I've pre-configured this to save time, but you can choose your language, your voice, you can connect 11 labs. I've chosen Peter, our Asian Australian male voice. Your AI model, we're gonna use Synthflow LLM, which is best suited for real-time conversations. You have GPT-4 Turbo, GPT-4 O, GPT-4 3.5 Turbo. Um, your patience level, custom vocab, if you wanna do that. Custom greeting, I've gone for, hello there, you're speaking with Sam. Kate mentioned you're on the lookout for a new vehicle. How can I help you today? The reason for the Kate bit is because we have a team set up and Kate is our receptionist. She's gonna forward the call to Sam. So this is Sam's intro. Next, we're gonna go through to the prompt and here it is. Let's run through it step by step so you know how you can set one up. But basically, this prompt is all the information your assistant's gonna need to act as a new car sales assistant on behalf of a car dealership. So we've got a little bit of background info. You are Sam, the AI sales assistant specializing in new vehicle sales. Got some dealership information, a little bit, but not too much. Target audience, value prop, and then we're straight into the actual sales call handling instructions. I like to number mine. So one through eight, step-by-step step for the call. Initial greeting, the customer information, politely ask the name and if they've purchased a car with us before. Returning customers can route them a different way. Vehicle interest, what vehicle you're looking for, preferred brands, top priorities. Then budget and financing, cash buyer, the vehicle recommendations based off of what they're looking for. I'm gonna reference the knowledge base for that, I'll show you that in a sec. Then answer any questions. So have they got any additional questions for us? If so, reference knowledge base, where we've got the background company info, as well as any special offers, yada, yada, yada. Next, we're on to scheduling a test drive. If the call's gone well, we have a vehicle they like, they might wanna schedule a test drive, we can do that provide information about the dealership test drive policies or process and any requirements. Next, transitioning to a human salesperson. So the call's gone well, you're gonna sell them a car, what do we do? We gotta transfer them to a human, probably. I mean, AI is good, but not that good yet. So one or two things. Do you wanna come and see the car? Do you wanna book a test drive? Or are there additional questions that we can't answer, which means we'll forward the call to somebody, an actual real life human, in the dealership who can handle it. Finally, we have additional guidelines. These are basically a list of rules to stop your assistant going off the rails and talking about random stuff, as well as extra things to consider while on the call. So let's just cherry pick an example. Respect the customer's budget and avoid pushing vehicles outside the stated price. Don't sell them a Ferrari, they've only got $20,000 to spend or they wanna lease a car. Be familiar with and able to explain any digital or online tools the dealership offers for vehicle customization or comparison. So every dealership has tools, websites. We give that in the knowledge base so we can provide answers and be as helpful as possible. Saving our humans, our real life humans, our meat machines to pick up the phone. If we can handle all the calls, all the basic questions on this call, by the time the call reaches the human, we're good to go. Okay. That's enough of the prompt. Next, we're gonna to wanna to give this assistant some more knowledge, some background knowledge about the company and what vehicles we have for sale. That's where this knowledge base comes in. Left-hand side, click knowledge base. I've already created one. If you wanna create a new one, click new folder, then upload. You're gonna do a file, a PDF, a text, or a URL so you can scrape a web page. Here we go. I've given it this. 
some LLM generated fictitious company info for auto drive motors, a full service car dealership specializing in new and used vehicle sales, financing and maintenance. Here we go down, 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 down. We've got all the info, what we do, what we offer, the cars we have, the price, the leasing, the fees, the customer support, the hours, the returns policy, all the good stuff that our assistant might want to know. Super helpful. Next, we have new vehicles. Here's the vehicles we've got. Ignore the prices, it's probably wrong. I know they are, deposit. If you're a car dealer looking at this, just close your eyes. We've got a Ford Explorer. We've got a Tesla Model 3, standard range plus, long range performance, deposit. We can give that to our assistant to use on the call. Next, let's attach said knowledge base to our assistant by clicking this button here. Add auto drive motors, let's switch it up to GPT-4 to make retrieval better and save. Now we have it. Down here in the answering questions bit, we've said important, please refer to the knowledge base when answering questions about the company. Makes sense. Sometimes you need to tell the LLMs what to do. Use the, let's add it in here too. Use the new vehicle stock list in your knowledge base to answer these questions done next if the call goes well we're going to want to transfer it to a human so we're going to click call transfer we're going to add in a number i don't i think this is my friend's number maybe validate it Good. Okay, so when should the transfer take place? If if the user wants to book a test drive, full stop, or if the user wants to visit the showroom and see the vehicle. Okay, cool. There's some advanced settings here too like an extension, let's navigate a phone tree, timeout. There's a few messages that you can set. If you're trying to reach the number, let me transfer you to a human. The AI will say that while it's transferring. Once the target answers the message, I'm transferring you now. And if the target didn't answer the message, we're gonna leave them as is, but you can customize them if you want. Next, let's go and extract some key information from this call. So. There's a few things you're going to want to know. For instance, do the does the person want a specific color of car? Vehicle color. Let's do that spelling for you, US folks. Does the user want a specific color? And then add some examples, red. I'm sure this is painfully obvious, but let's do it anyway. Black. Okay, save. We can add another one. You can do things like transmission. Does the, is the customer looking for a manual or an auto. Okay, you get the idea. Edit the examples again. Manual, auto. Okay, and you can do all the way through, all the information you wanna gather, you can just do it here, save it. That means that the assistant will capture the info and then save it and push it into your CRM, forward it into a Google Sheet, wherever you need it and you're good to go. Okay, let's test this. This time, we're not gonna actually make the phone call, we're gonna just chat, because there's a new feature, and you can just chat with it, so you don't have to use your credits. Hey there. OK, 
Okay, now let's go ahead and test this. Tom, let's go ahead and call. Okay. Hello. Hello there. You're speaking with Sam. Kate mentioned you're on the lookout for a new vehicle. How can I help you today? Uh, I am actually. I was just looking to see what you've got in stock. Well, we've got a wide range of new vehicles in stock. Are you interested in a particular type, like sedans, SUVs, or maybe electric vehicles? Uh, yeah, electric vehicle would be good. Awesome. Electric vehicles are a great choice. We have the Tesla Model Three and the Ford Mustang Mach-E in our inventory. The Tesla Model Three ranges from thirty nine nine hundred ninety for the standard range plus to fifty six nine and ninety for the performance model. The Ford Mustang Mach-E starts at $43,095 for the select model and goes up to $59,900 for the GT model. Both come with some pretty cool features. Do any of these catch your eye? Uh, yeah, the Tesla Model 3 is good. Uh, what are your finance rates and uh, when can I pick it up? Great choice. The Tesla Model 3 is a fantastic vehicle. As for financing, we offer competitive rates starting from 2. 9% APR based on credit approval. Regarding pickup, it depends on the exact model and color you're interested in. If it's in stock, you could potentially pick it up as soon as the paperwork is completed. Do you have a specific model and color in mind? Um, I don't actually. I'm pretty flexible, to be honest. Um, I wondered if you'd be open on Sunday at all. Absolutely, we're open on Sundays. So you can swing by uh, any time between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Would you like me to schedule a test drive for the Tesla Model 3 this Sunday? Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Actually, I'll call you back in a minute. I appreciate all the info. Um, uh, I need to go, but I'll call you back. Thank you. Okay, so that was pretty decent. Um, got one little thing wrong with the Sunday 11 a.m. 6 p.m., I think. Maybe that's a time zone thing. Put it down to that anyway. But you can get the idea. Sounded like a pretty natural conversation. It referred to the knowledge base. It was asking the right questions, following the script. And that is how you create a AI powered new car salesman for your car dealership. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hit me up with any questions. If you want the prompt, uh, send me a message on YouTube and I'll send it to you. And catch you on the next one. Bye.